Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. I'm your teacher Fatma Ayaz from the Nexus Education System, head of his campus. Here we are gonna study our class 6th English book, lesson number 4, night on page number 37. So this chapter it is not a theoretical based chapter. It is basically a poem which is on a net nature thing. Night is natural. Sun is natural. Morning is natural. There are various natural things and uh, Poets usually write on the beauty of nature. So this poem is also on the beauty of nature and the phase that the poet choose is night. Here, I'm going to tell you about the poem first that there are basically two types of poems. The first poem is a free poem in which you will not see any type of rhymes. Whereas the second type of the poem is you will see specific order of rhyme. Here in this poem you can see that the sun descending in the west, the evening star does shine, the birds are silent in their nest and I must seek for mine. Here you can see the rhyme west and nest. So the first phrase of the poem it is getting rhyme with the third phrase of the poem. Whereas the second phrase shine is getting rhyme with the fourth phrase of the poem. And if we proceed further here there is another order here flower is getting rhyme with the word bower and here delight is getting rhyme with night so there is a specific order of the rhyme so now we are gonna get what the poet think about the nature what are the basic aspects on which the poet is uh, emphasizing and what we are gonna see in this poem so let's read it out Okay, the first uh, phrase is the sun descending in the west, the evening star does shine, the birds are silent in their nest and I must seek for mine, the moon like a flower in heavens like bower with silent delight sits and smiles on the night. So the word flower, its pronunciation is flower as well as flower. So here it is getting rhyme, rhyme with bower. So the first phrase, the sun descending in the west, the evening star does shine. So here the word descending. You are well aware of this word students. Descending, you, ha you, are, you have already attempted these type of questions, descending order, ascending order in your mathematics. And you have been well aware of this thing. So descending is when you are uh, growing, uh, going from uh, from a top level to a low, low level, from a top value to a low level value. Or uh, for example, you are going from five to zero, and if you are coming from zero to five, it is an increasing order. So descending order is when you are going from a something top or a climax object to something a ground level object. So the sun descending in the west. So the sun basic sets in the west. So it is going first. It was high above on the sky and now it is just getting set in the west so here the poet does to describe the setting of the Sun he uses the word descending just to like increase the vocabulary you can use much more better words than this so the Sun descending in the west the evening star does shine so when the Sun descend in the west when the Sun sets in the west it, uh, the evening starts so when the evening starts uh, it's it's having an its own feeling evening is having its own wave evening it's having its own wave of emotion basically so when the evening starts so it is not particularly about a star that shine in the evening it is the evening itself so evening start ho rahi hai to Jo evening hai, usko ek star bola gaya hai. That when the evening comes, it shines like a star. It gives us the feeling like a star. It gives us the shining filament like a star. To ye us tarha bola hai. The, for, the next is, the birds are silent in their nest and I must seek for mine. Now, here in this in this phrase, the poet is basically saying that when the evening starts and after that night comes, it's the it's basically the time for rest. 
and everyone goes back to their home everyone goes back to their huts and here the same case with the birds and the animals they go back to their nest uh, uh, net, nest as well as like caves or underground homes or whatever the place they are having so it is not only for birds it is for the whole animal or uh, whole of uh, all of the animals that birds basically uh, when the night comes when the night starts the birds are silent and it's time for their rest and they and they go back to their nest and the next phrase is and i must seek for mine here the poet is adding that it's the time for rest obviously and the birds are back to their nest so it's the time for me also to find my shelter so that i can also take rest because night is just made for our rest it's it's the name for the relaxation so the next is the moon like a flower the moon like a flower in the heavens the high bower so b o w e r bower it it means a private room so the moon like a flower now the poet is comparing a moon to a flower that it shines on a particular place high above uh, high above the sky heavens high means the sky here heaven is just subjected towards uh, sky that moon is on the sky and it is shining like a flower it is glowing like a flower and it is having its own place that is why they have used the word bower uh, like a private room that moon is having its own private room and it is uh, shining high above on the sky like a flower so what uh, this is what it means next is with silent delight sits and smiles on the night with silent delight now act, silent delight means a, a piece of a wave of satisfaction now everyone is satisfied everyone is done with the work and everyone is planning for the next day but the night when it comes everyone just sigh of uh, delightness everyone just breathe of uh, relaxation that yes the time has come we are now relaxing at our home it's the time that we are going to rest and uh, we are going to spend the night while resting and uh, when the next day will come we will obviously proceed to our words so basically in this poem the poet william blake is saying that when the sun sets in the west and uh, then the evening starts and it and it is having its own wave of relaxation that is why the poet is mentioning the word star and a shine for the word evening and after that when the night comes the birds are then uh, the birds are now silent and they are going back to their nest so that they can have some rest so that they can be fresh in the morning when they just wake up and uh, as per it is a command for animals to take rest in their nest in their shelters in their home this is the same command for the people for the human being also that when the night comes it is the time for relaxation as well as it is in our religion that night is made for your rest and morning is way uh, is made for your work so now and i must seek for mine poet is also searching poet is also uh, seeking for a shelter so that he can also take rest the next is the moon like a flower in heavens like high bower so here when the night comes the moon just appears on the sky and it shines on a specific area of the sky uh, a specific area it uh, the poet represents that specific area is a private room that moon is also taking rest on in its private room and it's shining there like a flower and uh, with silent delight sits and smiles on the night like it is uh, a an a need of satisfaction that yes the night has come and we are now delighted enough we have worked enough in the morning and now the time has come so that we can take rest so this is what the poem was about but your homework is to write the summary of the poem now in the summary you can write <clears throat> that the first of all we are going to tell that the poem is written by william blake now this poem is written by william blake and this poem is about night now you will start like this that the sun sets in the west and the evening stars shines on the star in the sky now uh, obviously when the night comes the stars of the evening shines on the sky and the evening itself is is an age of satisfaction and and it's a glow itself that uh, it it brings the shine in on our faces so here 
the sun sets in the west and the evening stars shine in the sky and uh, the birds go to their nest to take rest and uh, and they stop their tripping sound the poet is also seeking for a shelter and uh, the moon with its pleasant glow it is basically appearing in the sky the poet basically compares the moon with the flower and now it is all darkness silence prevails everywhere after describing the moon you will come towards the point that uh, it is all darkness silence prevails everywhere everyone is ready to take rest now activities of life are suspended so we should be grateful to allah almighty for such blessings you can add this at the end so this was an overview of the poem so i hope that you will get that and you will be able to write the summary of the poem uh, stay safe and uh, take care of yourselves allah hafiz